Hello and welcome to the Rockstar Pad 20 Pro walkthrough tutorial. Turn on the pad. Increase the volume in the left side. And let's play the pad. We can see the song pattern button and the kit button on the top of the pad. Press the pattern song button to select the pattern or the song. For the kit, we can press the kit button. Use the plus and minus buttons to change the present kit and patterns or the numeric values. Or we can use the numeric buttons to enter the numbers. For example, press 0, 9, 9 in kit menu to get kit 99. Also can press 1, 0, 0 to get 100. We can do the same in pattern menu. 1, 0, 0, 100. Press the play button to play the pattern. Here we can see A, B and fill buttons. We can play and record the patterns in A and A fill, B and B fill. Which means we can play or record up to 4 patterns in a number. 0, 1 to 50 is the preset pattern and the preset kit. User patterns and kits from 51 to 100. The user can create or edit kits and patterns in the user locations. Here we selected a pattern 88A and the corresponding kit is 91 Indian Multi. We can create this type of kits and patterns in the user area. Let's take a look at the kit with multiple Indian instruments. And also, we can check the patterns by pressing the buttons A, A fill, B, B fill. Let's start with pattern A. Next, let us go through the menus. Here I selected kit menu. Press the menu enter button. Then we can see drum kit. Press again enter. Now we reached the rename menu. We can select the positions by pressing up and down switches. To change the character, use plus minus buttons. For example, world. Press and hold the minus or plus buttons to change the characters rapidly. You'll get the blank space after the small letter Z. After renaming, press enter to confirm. Then press plus button to create. Similarly, we can change the name in the pattern menu as well. Here I am creating the same name for the pattern.
After that, press enter and plus button. Now you can see the kit name and pattern name as we changed. Press menu. Press again enter. Press the down button. Here we can change the length of the pattern. Use plus and minus buttons to change the length of the patterns. After that, don't forget to press enter and plus button. Next we can see the recording setup. In this menu, we can select real-time recording and step recording. Before we start recording, we need to make sure of a few things. Press down button to set pre-count. Here we can set 0 to 9. Then choose the quantize resolution. First one is off. Then we can choose 1 by 48, 1 by 32, 1 by 24, 1 by 16, 1 by 12, 1 by 8, 1 by 6, 1 by 4. Then we can set the swing amount if we want. We can set the swing value by using numeric buttons or the plus minus buttons. Then we can see the pattern offset. This is what comes in the recording setup. Next, let's go through the drum kit menu. After rename menu, we can find the volume of the selected drum kit. That's from 0 to 32. Next one is mode. When we set the mode into pattern, the kit will also change with the pattern. For example, I am changing the pattern to 99 and we can see the corresponding kit is also came here. If we set the manual mode, the kit will not change as pattern changes. Next, I am selecting an empty pattern and a user kit. Press the Enter menu button, press down and select Instruments menu. We can choose the voices from here. After selecting the voices, press Copy Save button, then press Enter and Plus. After making the kit, press the pattern menu, then go to Recording Setup. Set the length. Select the Quantize. After that, go to Metronome Setup, then select the Click Mode. Set the metronome volume and interval. Let's check the intervals.
After the setup, press the record button. Then press the play button and hit the pads to capture the rhythm. To create the fill pattern, press fill button and continue recording. To erase the mistaken notes, press the erase button and hit the pad. Let's replay the pattern A and A fill. Next, we can check the step recording method. Press the record button and change the normal to step. Then select quantize. Press the play button to start the record. Use the forward and rewind buttons to select the measure. Also, we can change the pattern length after recording. Here is an example. Let's record some other notes. In the instruments menu, we can change the pad volume individually. The minimum is 0 and the maximum is 32. Next is pan function. Then we can adjust the reverb level. Next we can change the pitch adjustments. The repeat function. When the repeat function is turned off, the first played voice on a pad is cut by the last played voice. The exclusive group function. If we set the function for the multiple pads, the first played pad voice is cut by the last played pad voice. By this function, we can create two groups. Let's copy a pattern number to another. Press the copy button, 
Here we can select pattern set, single pattern or part. Here I am selecting pattern set. Press down button and enter the destination number. After inputting the number, press enter and plus button. Let's check the copied pattern. Also, we can use the erase button like this. To erase a pattern set, press the erase button. Opt pattern set or pattern or part. Press down. Then press enter and plus. Finally, I am showing copy a kit number to another number. Select the source kit. Press the copy button. Input the destination number. Then press enter and plus. Thank you for watching.